Peter, we don't know why the gunman went on a shooting spree, but we have a very good idea of how he chose his victims. The suspect is Dylan Storm Roof. He is 21 years old and he apparently hates black people, hates them enough to kill them. This Snapchat video taken last night, shortly before the shooting, shows the suspect in the church basement sitting at a table, part of a small prayer meeting. He'd been with them about an hour when he stood up and according to witnesses said something like, I have to do it. You are raping our women and taking over our country and you have to go. And then he opened fire. The weapon, apparently a handgun, possibly a gift from his father for his 21st birthday in April. Witnesses say he reloaded five times. He shot and killed nine people, but spared one woman saying to her that she should tell his story. We woke up today and the heart and soul of South Carolina was broken. I serve in the armed forces and to see something like this happen stateside, it, it really hits my heart. Police identified the suspect and soon this picture was cascading across cyberspace. I am very, very pleased to announce that we have uh, made an arrest in this case. By noon, police had him, arrested after he was spotted in Shelby, North Carolina, a few hundred kilometers north of Charleston. Evidence that the suspect targeted people because they were black brought federal authorities into the case. So we opened it as a hate crimes investigation. Now that we do have someone in custody, we will be exploring all the motives that might have been in play there. Online pictures showed up of Dylan Roof wearing a jacket with the apartheid era flag of South Africa and the pre-Zimbabwean flag of white Rhodesia. And this one, note the license plate, flags of the slave-holding Southern Confederacy. And then there is the church itself. Emmanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church is part of the history of the black struggle against oppression dating back more than 200 years. It was a center for resistance and rebellion in the 19th century. Burned to the ground once, destroyed by an earthquake another time, always it returned here as a monument to the goal of civil rights. And now this. I, I just can't imagine somebody coming here and going to a into a church and shooting people. We don't, you don't expect somebody to go in a sanctuary where people are praying to God and have faith and then sit there for the whole hour and then just open fire. That makes no sense to me. Barack Obama said the tragedy is further evidence that the country must confront its gun problem one day. At some point, we as a country will have to reckon with the fact that this type of mass violence does not happen in other advanced countries. It doesn't happen in other places with this kind of frequency. It is in our power to do something about it. But unlike after the Sandy Hook school children murders, this time Obama did not promise meaningful action. He did say that the political reality in Washington would make that pointless. Peter. All right, Keith, thank you.